When it comes to art during the pandemic, technology seems to be lending a helping hand. Software now allows users to place artworks and sculptures into their home environments using augmented reality. Let's find out how the Indian art world is embracing technology. We have with us Kiran Nadar, collector and founder of KNMA, Bose Krishnamachari, artist and founder of the Kochi Binale, and Purnima Shivram, the CEO of Mojato. In a sector that thrives on interperson connection, the loss of an audience is disastrous. How are you dealing with this as an artist, as a museum, as a gallery owner? Uh, Mr. Bose, let's begin with you. As an artist, I think uh, we have to continuously work on, you know, future projects. When we look at the history of uh, contemporary art or photography, in the earlier days in 1840, someone said, a French painter said, painting is dead. That year, I think the photography, photography was invented. The same way, you know, like every time, technologically growing, uh, time, I think you know, like in present time, VA, VR, or we, you know, augmented re realities are also coming into art world. Artists are also associating or you know, working with the contemporary mediums. Kiran, how is it for you? You have a museum, obviously, it's shut at the moment. Um, how are you catering to your audience? Well, we have actually got two spaces one in Noida and one in Saket. And um, both unfortunately are closed at the moment. But uh, we have gone much more into virtual, um, re virtual reality and augmented reality. We are doing a lot of programming um, whereby we are having mini shows. And similarly, we're doing other programs. So we're doing a series of art and fashion where we have taken various designers and asked them to reflect on how art has influenced them. So uh, although people are not able to visit the museum at the moment, we are showing a lot of work from the collection on the um, virtual museum space, both on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course on the KNMA site. Now we have been forced to go into this road and in a way it's been a learning process. And I feel the virtual reality will play a larger role uh, as time goes on. All right, uh, Purnima, uh, you are at Mojato, which is an online platform. And right. uh, how has your experience been with COVID? Has, it, has there been an influx of people? Well, we couldn't say an influx of people, but yes, uh, it is definitely uh, giving you know a new opportunity for people to be witnessing art in a different way. You know, they are having access to events that were previously inaccessible. So that way, yes, we have been doing a lot on the platform in, in terms of educating or in terms of giving the audience a new experience. So yes, that way, yes, it has been a good. Uh, so since Mojato is already in the digital space. Yes, we do, we do have a lot of audience coming in. Uh, if you could give us some kind of numbers, uh, what kind of rise have you witnessed? Uh, specifically not in numbers, but then yes, if, given the fact that yes, the artist community as a whole has, uh, you know, had a hard hit because of the pandemic. Um, it, it's more about uh, educating people in, in terms of just browsing about art or reading about art, looking into new, newer curations that we can offer in the platform. And uh, yeah, there has been a huge jump. You could say about 20 to 30% of traffic increase on our site. All right. Uh, Mr. Krishnamachari, you are organizing the Kochi Biennale uh, later this year. Uh, it seems like quite an adventure amidst the COVID world that we are in. Uh, what are you planning? This year, we've been working uh, closely with the uh, digital format as well. You know, So it will be, uh, we believe in physical Binal, but you know there will be a kind of huge number of uh, curatorially as well as you know uh, digitally it will be looked at it. Um, we'll make a call in October, you know whether to postpone or not. But you know we are going ahead with uh, the 
date 12th of December right now. All right, we look forward to that. Uh, Kiran, you are an avid art collector. What have you witnessed? Any interesting trends or any interesting works or some international exhibition that you witnessed online uh, which m left an impact? Um, there are lots of exhibitions online as a matter of fact. In fact, some galleries abroad have opened and uh, Anish Kapoor had a beautiful show which opened before the pandemic, but it continued. And uh, uh, as far as uh, the galleries are concerned, I don't collect uh, uh, art outside our uh, region, basically South Southeast Asian art. Uh, but I do collect diaspora artists. So like I have uh, in the collection Anish, and I have Rakib Shaw, uh, and I have Rina Banerjee. But basically, they're artists whose, whose roots are from India. A surprising trend that, that has emerged, um, as far as India is concerned, I think there was, a, there was a fear that art prices were going to crash. And like in 2008, uh, when the Lehman Brothers crash happened, art took a major hit. It was expected that art prices at this period would also come down. And I was personally of the opinion that they would. But I've been pleasantly surprised at the various uh, auctions and sales that are taking place. Art is doing very well. Good works are, are commanding their prices. And there is a demand for art. Purnima Mojato is an online platform. So uh, take us through the virtual art fair that you are hosting. Yes, we are very much looking forward to it because it's the first time effort we try to bring in all the artist community in one place. The artists, artisans, photographers, and there's uh, something for everyone at the fair. So yes, it's extremely exciting. Wonderful. On that positive note, I want to thank all of you for joining us. To all of you watching, goodbye. And clearly, technology will usher the next wave of creative expression across the world. See you soon.